Hi, my name is Doug Thompson from CleanVehicleTest.com. We're here today in South Florida with Zen's newest neighborhood electric vehicle, the 2.22 LX. Our testing today will show how the Zen performs on the road and how it measures up comfort-wise to give you all the information you need to make a smart purchasing decision. Come on, let's take the Zen for a spin. The Zen is a fully featured electric vehicle built on an aluminum alloy automotive chassis. Here's Zen CEO and founder Ian Clifford to tell us more. So our first offering is a neighborhood electric vehicle, which is a low speed vehicle with a maximum top speed of 25 miles an hour. Our product differentiates from the competition on a whole bunch of different levels. First and foremost, we have a fully enclosed vehicle. Most of our competition right now is a golf cart type vehicle. So that alone makes for a huge difference between the products. The Zen we tested features an aluminum alloy, automotive chassis, and ABS body panels, and meets the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard 500 for low-speed vehicles. The Zen, outfitted for electric propulsion by Zen Motor Company in Canada, is powered by six heavy-duty, gel-type, sealed lead-acid batteries in a 72-volt system, which drives an electric motor that powers the front wheels. Range is 35 miles on a full charge and costs just pennies per mile after charging the batteries utilizing a standard U.S. household outlet. Neighborhood electric vehicles are legal in most states on streets where maximum speeds are posted at 35 miles per hour or under and that makes the Zen practical in neighborhoods, on campuses, in downtown areas or anywhere where traffic is tight and speeds are low. Acceleration is peppy, keeping up with traffic is not a problem. so quiet, you really got to watch out for coming up on people because they, they can't hear you. It's amazingly quiet and uh, you know that's one of the great advantages of the car. The Zen is nimble with excellent performance and smooth braking as our performance tests revealed. Our test showed the 1200 pound Zen accelerates to 25 miles per hour, the top legal speed for neighborhood electric vehicles in just under 10 seconds. We're here in an empty parking lot. And I'm putting the Zen through a series of S turns, very sharp turns, the kind of turn you'd do if you were trying to avoid an obstacle on the road. And the Zen is performing very well. Another one of the tests we like to do are, uh, is a braking test. And we get the Zen up to 25 miles an hour top speed, and then jam on the brakes to see how quickly the Zen will stop. And what we found is the Zen will stop in about 15 feet, maybe a little under 15 feet, in about 1.8 seconds. Vision is excellent. The huge front windshield offers a lot of viewing area. You've also got a lot of viewing space through the side windows and out the rear. The side mirrors and rear view mirror are well positioned and up to the job. The direction selector switch is located on the front console in the center, up for forward, middle for neutral, and all the way back for reverse. The car features a fully digital, easy to read speedometer display front and center on the dash. The Zen offers lots of creature comforts, including plenty of legroom. Controls for the power windows are forward and at the base of the dash, and the heater and air conditioning controls are right where you'd expect them in the center of the dash. That's right, the Zen can be equipped with air conditioning, crucial in warm weather climates. While air conditioning will reduce the vehicle's operating range by 20% or more, Pre-cooling while the vehicle is charging keeps things cool before you get underway. The bucket seats are fully adjustable, while the steering wheel on the model we tested does not tilt, a feature we would like to see. There's also a locking glove box and pre-wired space for an optional car stereo. The floor console accommodates a cup holder that also holds an ashtray, as well as a cigarette lighter and a little space to store change. The doors have small pockets to store maps and other items and the cargo area features side netting for bulky items like towels and two tie-downs on the floor. Rear storage room is spacious, big enough for two sets of golf clubs or a week's worth of groceries. There's a plastic two-piece decking that conceals contents in the rear cargo area and you can flip up the back section to allow more vertical space. The release lever for the hatchback is located inside the driver's side door while the release for the hood is forward by the driver's left leg, right where you would expect it. 
The engine area is comprised of two of the six batteries, as well as the battery charger, motor controller, converter, accessory battery, brake fluid level check, windshield washer fluid reservoir, and service switch. The other four batteries are located in the rear of the vehicle under the cargo area flooring. When you pull up to a gas station, it's real easy to charge up your Zen. You're not going to be able to use this. You're simply going to plug it into your 110 outlet at home. Eight hours later, you're ready to go. The Zen's super easy to recharge. Overnight's the best way to charge your Zen. But in about four hours, you can get an 80% charge. The Zen also has a keyless remote. As you can see, the Zen has a lot to offer. Excellent handling, superior styling, and quality workmanship. If you're in the market for a neighborhood electric vehicle, the Zen is in a class of its own.